very good morning welcome back to network nets youtube channel i am alok shivastava so i'm going to share you a very small and interesting plugin for kubernetes normally we use the kubectl uh, top command right to see the metrics to see the consumption of the resources cpu ram by the nodes by the pods which is fine and we have to install the metrics server for it which is good now here we have a small plugin which will give me a more detailed information as compared to the kubectl top command right so that is what we are going to learn so here it is it's very interesting uh, small plugin so the name of the plugin is there it is so we should say thanks to this guy david b and this is the github repository here so david bernard is the guy who has read, who has uh, written it has done all the hard work for us so it's the very simple plugin kubectl view allocation very interesting plugin a simple script will help you install it and then it gives you a much more detail about the pods about the nodes in a very beautiful manner which makes you more efficient right so this is another high value extra as we call it so let's try doing it the prerequisite is that you should have a kubernetes cluster there so i already have it kubectl get nodes my cluster is all is already there so, and i have some applications or some pods also running there so one pod is running in the default namespace so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to install that plugin right so very easy stuff either you can go to the david bernard's uh, github location or the repository which i will be sharing it in the description of the video or we i had already taken it and uh, using it in our github repository which we have on the for our the, the kubernetes training so here it it is you can simply use this kubectl view allocations so all credit goes to david bernard so run the script simply copy this i copy it here and i paste it run it on the manager it will download the application install it copy it under u usr local pin so remember this location in case you intend to remove this now the first thing i which i have to do is that i need to do a cube cuttle view allocation help right so if you do a cube cube cuttle view allocation hyphen help will show you all the options the normal options which are are available like hyphen n with this I'll, I'll i'll show you a difference here so if you give the command here kubectl uh, top nodes will show you something like this very simple but it's good now if i again use the kubectl view allocation and press enter see it gives me a lot of details by default it shows you the cpu which is being consumed on the manager which pod is consuming how much cpu the limit like like test one is the pod which is running on node two right it is being currently consuming one one 150 millisecond of uh, like mb of the ram is the request and 250 is the uh, uh, your uh, limit so if if i show you here i have a pod here this one wait a minute that the name 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 or uh, is pod test yeah see that's the value 150 mb here it comes 150 mb is the request and 250 mb is the limits there are a very interesting options also which you can use so this gives me much more detail right so if i give a hyphen x will show me all the options like suppose i wanted to see only the cpu consumption let's say i have a couple of examples here which i have pasted here like see help you you wanted to see the simplest means just write cube cuttle view allocation press enter will show you all the things i'm only interested in seeing the cpu hyphen u utilization right press enter it will show you the utilization of the utilization requested limit right this of your cpu this is your memory see this is my test one the test one port which is running on node 2 is currently con is currently consuming 16.5 mb of ram whereas the requested the given is 150 mb and the maximum is this right so you can use this and couple of other uh, so i'll just share a couple of options here 
like suppose you wanted to see CPU you usage I or I am only interested in seeing the CPU resources right hyphen R is for resources so just use it hyphen R CPU so only the CPU consumption will come that is again much better than what the kubectl top commands gives you right so kubectl view allocation plugin will showing you only the CPU consumption right so the CPU which is being used on this machine the CPU of node 1 total CPU node 2 total the test one is is currently consuming 40 millisecond or m like uh, millisecond of CPU time so if if I show you for test this is it 40 millisecond of CPU time and 80 millisecond of is the limit so use this it's going to give you much better output in terms of the consumption right how much how your uh, uh, pods are consuming like suppose I intend to use only the memory I, I can do it like this also memory just feel free to ex explore it once it is installed it's very easy so again another high value extra here so only the memory consumption will, will come right so you can change here by CPU CPU consumption will come here so memory is this the requested and this right it is coming here allocatable free you you can also uh, read or check the consumption for a particular namespace might be I'm interested in seeing how much how my cube system namespace is behaving right so there is an option there hyphen G and then the node specific node can be given specific uh, namespace can be given let's see the node how the node 2 is behaving G is for the group see if you give hyphen H here sorry hyphen H G is for the grouping right group the group can be based on node pods namespace right so I say hyphen G uh, node see this is manager node consumption on the CPU consumption of manager CPU of node 1 node 2 of thermal storage memory on node 1 node 2 and pods which are running on manager node 1 node 2 all is coming there right so you can also have for namespaces also say G I say namespace so now you will get the information based on namespace see default namespace is consuming this much amount of CPU right cube system namespace is this engine X ingress I'm having a namespace likewise the memory consumption the pet clinic is a namespace which is consuming these pods are running here in default cube system so maximum consumption you can see is in the cube system which we know why right so try using it it's going to be very interesting it's going to be very very useful will help you be more efficient and more productive thanks for watching i hope you have liked it feel free to subscribe comment and share thank you very much i'll see you again with these small tips and tricks or i call it high value extras thank you